what's going on everybody welcome to my nfc south draft grades we're going to just hop right into it we're going to start in alphabetical order yet again and we'll be doing the atlanta falcons here their first pick they select the aj terrell cornerback from clemson i think terrell is underrated in this class like he's going to be a really good corner you give this one a b plus he's a nice press corner he fits the scheme extremely well i like him and he's a and the falcons dan quinn comes from that seattle press cover three scheme that we all know and love for nars run it uh, so I know about it. AJ Terrell is a good fit for that system. He's I w honestly I would take a Jalen Johnson, which is why it's a B plus and not like an A. But it's AJ Terrell is a good player. So B plus for Atlanta for that one. And then their second round pick, they took Marlon Davidson. And I think he's actually a pretty nice player. I'm gonna give this one to B plus as well. Actually I'll give it an A minus. And I think he's a very nice player. He's a three four defensive end. He's gonna be decent. I think he's a nice pass rusher. And he can also play the run of course being interior defensive lineman i'm pretty sure most of them can do that but he's going to be a very nice player in my opinion and if a minus grace decent rusher you can do a lot for that team in my opinion and they obviously lost a lot of guys like the beasley and stuff so they good replacement for those guys now in the third round they got very i think they got steal again another steal in this draft class of matt hennessy at center i give this one an a he's a very nice zone blocking center that they are interior lineman in general. He could play behind Alex or learn behind Alex Mack, who is a very good lineman himself. And he's just a really nice, fast, agile lineman. He's similar to guys like Joe Staley, if you want to compare him to tackle. <laughs> but he's just a really nice zone blocker. He's going to be learning behind Alex Mack, who's obviously a veteran at this point. He can retire any minute. So you see him, Joe Staley. <laughs> and I think this great is just an A. It's a really nice player in general. Even if, even if they're drafting to be a start, I would give him that A because he's just a really good, I think he's a really good player. Now in the fourth round, they drafted Michael Walker, a linebacker from Fresno State. I don't really know much about him, but I'll give this one a B because I think, I, I'm pretty sure, the Deion Jones, I'm pretty sure he got hurt a couple of times his career. Or I'm pretty sure he missed a lot of time at one point. And they don't, I don't think they have anything outside Deion Jones. I don't know much about the Falcons roster really. But Michael Walker is a decent player. He's a good linebacker. He can do. He's very. He's pretty versatile. It says here. He can play. He can play an edge. Or he can play end pretty much. <laughs> but he's a nice player. I think he'll be a good player. I, I said it like the same time. But you know, whatever. B grade. Or I think I said. Yeah, I said B. Right. <laughs> this is a mess. All right. Let's just get to the next pick. All right. Jalen Hawkins, another fourth round pick for Atlanta. He's a safety from Cal. Don't know much about him, but I think he'll be just a player. They do need safeties, I believe. Or like backup safeties. I think they have Ricardo Allen there still. Uh, actually, they do have Keanu Neal, of course, who's injury prone. And I know they have, uh, or I don't know if they have him still, but Devonta KC, I'm pretty sure. But Hopkins, he's a nice player. I'll give that one. I'll give us a B minus for that one. Now their final pick in the seventh round, they took a punter, and I don't care, C punter. <laughs> so overall, I think I had a nice draft. I get that one a B plus. A very nice draft. You got AJ Terrell. I think he's gonna. I think he deserves more credit than he got. You got Mount Davidson, that head of C, Michael Walker, Jalen Hawkins. I think those guys are all pretty decent. Like I think they're all good players. And they took a punter, so whatever. <laughs> all right. So let's move on to the Carolina Panthers, who are having a new regime. They got rid of Cam Newton, of course. It's a new era for Carolina. They got rid of Ron Rivera, of course. And their first pick, they questionably took Derek Brown over Isaiah Simmons. And for that reason, I give this pick a B because he could have gone Isaiah Simmons. And I am a little biased because he went to the Cardinals, but still, even if I was like a Falcons fan or a Saints fan or a, or a Bucks fan, I forgot the other team in the South. If I was a fan of any of those teams, I would have been like, why didn't you take Simmons? Like, what are you doing? So, my opinion is a B. But with Derek Brown, he's a good player, great run stopper, he has decent pass rush potential as well. He's a very good player. He's a good player. It's not his fault that Isaiah Simmons is better than him, in my opinion, of course. But I would just give that a B just because of that. And in the second round, I got a nice player. You took Gross Matos. I give this one an uh, A because I think Matos is extremely underrated as a prospect. And I actually think he should have gone in the first I think he should have gone in the first round. Actually, I'm going to Seattle, who, of course, took some reach, as they always do. <laughs> but Matos, he's a very good pass rusher, of course. That's all he does. He's a good pass rusher. He could play the run, I guess, but he's obviously just there to be a pass rusher. The Panthers struggled mightily at pass rusher. I'm pretty sure that was, that was probably the worst spot last year. 
So I think it's a great pick for them. He's gonna be, I think he's gonna be a very nice player for them. And I guess that would be an A. And then they trade it up in the second round to get Jeremy Chin. And I pretty, I can't remember who's on the board at this point. But Jeremy Chin, I guess, is on the B+. Plus. He's a nice player. I really like him. He's a nice run stopper. He can also play, play the ball extremely well. I think he'll be a nice slot guy if he wants. He's a good box safety. He's going to be a really nice player for him, I think. I guess this one to be plus. Uh, and he can put him behind Trey Boston and stuff. He's a nice player. <laughs> I, I, really, I feel like I'm just like saying the same things every two seconds. It feels so stupid. Anyways, in the fourth round, they got Troy Pride, who's in there. I actually think he's a nice underrated player as well. I gave this one an A minus because I think Troy Pride's in there. a nice player. And he's a good coverage guy. He's good speed, of course, which you love to see at the secondary. He's getting his own coverage, and he's just, I think, Troy Pride, I've heard, he's from Notre Dame, he's a nice player, he's obviously a little short, so, well, not short, but it's like, wingspan, I guess, <laughs> but six foot, six feet tall, he's a nice guy, he's prototypical corner, in my opinion, I give him an, I think I said A minus, that's what I meant to say, if I didn't say it, then they got another safety in the fifth round, Kenny Robinson, this one is C plus, actually, this was the XFL guy, I could, just because this XFL guy gave it an A+, plus, I actually think he's pretty good in the XFL. I remember hearing a lot about him being him actually being pretty good. It wasn't going to fifth round. That's higher than I expect any XFL player to go. So I get it as, even It's not really an A+, plus, it's more like a B. It's not going to be an A+, plus as an XFL player. <laughs> and then the sixth round, I get Bravion Roy, who I actually liked coming out of Baylor. I, so I'll give this one a B, or I'll give it a B+. Plus. He has a nose tackle. I took him in the sixth round. It's perfectly fine. He's a good run stopper. There's not much to really say about him. Yeah, I think he'll be a very nice player. He actually had five and a half sacks last year, so he's pretty good for like his size and being a run defender. <laughs> but I think he's gonna be a nice player to develop on guys like Kayvon Short and all that. He's gonna be I actually think he's a really good player. And I think he'll end up being a nice player. So I'm gonna have a B plus. And their final pick, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who this guy is. Stanley Thomas Oliver the third. How how's there three of these? How's there three people with this name? But I don't know much about him. I'm just going to give him a C. Look at this draft description. It looks like he's just a decent corner. He is corner. I don't know if I said it or not. He's a corner. Those are, uh, look, honestly, they don't really say that they're saying much saying much good about him. But they got Troy Pride, so it doesn't really matter. But overall, for the Panthers, I get that on like a B plus. They had a nice draft. If they took Isaiah Simmons, I honestly would get that like an A or maybe even an A plus. But they took Derrick Brown instead. So what can you do about that? Now let's move on to the next team, which is the Saints, it looks like. So, let's talk about the Saints. Their first round pick. They surprisingly took Cesar Ruiz. Now, I like Ruiz, but I was kind of confused because they have, I believe it's Eric McCoy at center, who I'm pretty sure he just drafted last year. But he's a good player. I'll give it a B. He's probably, I'm sure one of those guys will kick in the guard somewhere. I'm sure he'll be, I'm sure he'll end up having a nice player, this guy, but I just don't really understand it at the moment. So, I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B plus, actually, because I think he's a really good player. He's a great lineman. I thought like the team like the Bengals or the Giants or any team that needs a lineman in the second round would trade up for him. But he went to the Saints before I thought he would. I also thought they'd go Jordan Love. But they got Cesar Ruiz. He's a good player. B+. Plus. Now, Zach Bond in the third round. And I give him this one a B. I thought he'd go like a Patriots type team or like the Giants or something. Like a team that runs that like edge hybrid like linebacker edge hybrid system like the Patriots do very much just think of, just think of the Patriots defense when I say stuff like that like if you go on Madden Patriots have a multiple defense 3-4-4-3 four, four, that's what I'm saying <laughs> he plays outside linebacker in both 3-4-4-3 three, four, four, three. <laughs> okay but he's a good pass rusher he's a decent run stopper he's just an all around he's just an all around decent player he can do he can do pretty much anything and he's a decent player give it a B I don't really think he fits necessarily the Saints system extremely well. So I'd to be and not like it. If he wants like the Giants or something, that'd be an A plus. But he's still a good player. I think he'll be good for the Saints. He'll be a decent guy. B. And then the third round they draft Adam Troutman, who I think actually who is one of the better Titans in this class. This is a really weak tight end class. I think Troutman's one of the better ones. I give this one a B as well. He is I think he actually went later. I thought he I thought he'd go actually I thought he'd be the first tight end to get taken. But he ended up being, I think, third? I don't remember. But he's going to be a decent player for him. He'll be a good player, actually. Uh, I don't remember if they have Jared Cook still or not, but I think that Troutman's going to be a nice player. I give it a B. There's just a lot of Bs in this draft. 
And then their final pick, the Saints, take Tommy Stevens. And now I remember this guy being just super athletic. That's all I remember about him. I remember him at Penn State. I remember seeing him run. That was all I remember. He's a quarterback, keep that in mind. So he's basically what I'm expecting from Tommy Stevens is Taysom Hill, 2.0. I'm expecting him to either develop Stevens into like being Taysom Hill and then dealing him off like a third round pick or something or just getting rid of Taysom Hill because <laughs> Taysom Hill's like 30 I think at this point because he was in college for like 10 years because he kept getting hurt or something like that but Stevens he's basically just Taysom Hill the second for this team in my opinion that's what I'm expecting to see out of him and for that I give this an A that's right, Tommy fucking Steven gets an A, because I'm, I'm, literally, they're just going to use him as Taysom Hill, that's what I'm expecting, so, we'll see if that's being true, if they don't use him like that, then it's an F, because he's a fucking horrible quarterback, but if they use him like Taysom Hill, A, so, a, a big spectrum there, A or F, and that's pretty much how all picks work, in the end, but then, let's go to the final team in this division, the team that have Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, the fucking Buccaneers of all teams, I guess Florida, so it makes a little sense. And then here come the Bucks. They traded up one spot with the 49ers. We did the same thing we did to them with the the thing we did to the Bears with the Trubisky trade. And they, we had to trade up one spot for Tristan Wirfs. And now, as a 49ers fan, I would actually like to have Wirfs. But with us having Chuck Williams, so I don't need him anymore. <laughs> we have Javon Kinlaw anyway, so I don't care. But they traded up for Tristan Wirfs. I guess we scared them thinking another team would trade up for him. Who knows? But Tristan Wirfs, A+. Plus. This is a fantastic pick for the Bucks. They needed a lineman to help protect for Brady because they don't have good linemen in Tampa Bay. I don't know why they aren't re-signed DeMar Dotson, but now they don't have to. They're going to Tristan Wirfs on their team. We lost tackles to Donovan Smith, who isn't good. <laughs> but they got Wirfs now, at least. They have somebody good there. He's raw, obviously, but he's an amazing athlete. He's going to be a very good player, in my opinion. I think he'll be fantastic. He'll develop into something amazing. I give that A+. I get A plus because it's a huge need and they need him. And then the second round, Antoine Winfield. He's my favorite player in this class. Antoine Winfield. Uh, well, junior, of course. Antoine Winfield Sr. was a player for the Minnesota Vikings. I believe the Seahawks and I think one other team. I can't remember who. But mainly the Minnesota Vikings, of course. And Winfield Jr., he's a safety instead of a corner. But I think he should have gone in the first round. He should have been his first safety to be taken over, I think it was went first. I don't know if it was Delpit or McKinney. It was probably McKinney. But I think Winfield's the third safety taken. I give this an A-plus, of course, Winfield. He's just amazing. He's super athletic. He's, he's I just... Winfield, he's amazing in every way. He's a great coverage player. He can tackle. He plays in a slot. He plays safety. He's just fucking amazing. I think he should have gone in the first round. I think he should have been the first safety. But... There he goes to the Buccaneers. Buccaneers have got a really good draft here, actually. The third round, this is a questionable pick in my opinion. They took Keyshawn Vaughn from Vanderbilt. I don't really know a lot about this guy. He's a decent, I think he's an overall okay running back. I don't see why they took Keyshawn Vaughn. I think there are other players on the board they could have taken. Like, uh, I'm honestly just assuming that because I don't really remember who's on the board, but it's a running back. So I'm just assuming there's other players on the board that could have gone. But... In the end, they got a good players all the draft. It was a B. They do need a running back. Ronald Jones is not the answer. Sorry. I don't remember if they had paid Barber still or not, but decent pick, B. And then they get another steal, Tyler Johnson, in the fifth round. I think Ty Johnson was a third-round prospect. This is another A-plus great for the Buccaneers. Ty Johnson from Minnesota as well as Antoine Winfield. He's amazing. He's a great receiver, great route runner. He has, he's not slow. He's not slow. He's decent speed, average speed in my opinion. He's good hands. And he's just, I don't know why he fell. There are reported character issues. I don't know where that came from, but I guess you just have bad interviews or something. But Tyler Johnson, he's going to be amazing with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. That's an A-plus slam dunk steal in the fifth round. And then they get another steal in the sixth round, Khalil Davis. The Davis brothers were amazing. They're great athletes. They play defensive. They play defensive tackle. They're great pass. I'm saying this for both of them. So when I talk about the other Davis brother later, that'll be fun. <laughs> but the Davis brothers are both athletic pass rushers that 
I think they should have been both been taken the fifth round or so, fourth round maybe even. And obviously, Khalil ran a 475 at 308 pounds. So obviously he's extremely athletic. He's a good pass rusher. He can even he, he's not necessarily a very good run defender, <laughs> but. In the NFL, you can find like 50 run defense guys on the streets. It's more important to get those pass rushers. And Khalil Davis is one of those guys. That's another A plus grade, in my opinion. Khalil Davis is a steal in the sixth round. Then, these last two guys I don't know much about. They took Chappelle Russell from Temple, a linebacker. I just want to see as I don't know much about him. But I'll say he's a good starter. He's a decent player. He's a decent overall player. I don't know much about him. I'll move on to C plus. Looks like he's a decent player, actually. And then, with their final pick, they took another running back, Raymond. Calais from Louisiana. I don't know if that's like Lafayette or it is Lafayette. <laughs> but he's a oh he's an okay player. I think he's a decent receiving back, I believe. I'm not necessarily sure about that. But so he averaged like nine two all purpose yards per game. That's pretty decent. He's speedy, probably he's five eight, one eighty eight, so it's gonna be a speedy back scap back type. I don't wanna see. I don't know much about him. But it's a running back, so it doesn't really matter. This late in the draft, just tick flyers so you get everything you can get. But overall, the Buccaneers, they had one of the best drafts. They got Tristan Wurfs, Antoine Field, Tyler Johnson, Cleveland Davis, all A-plus grades, in my opinion. I think I said A for worse, but I moved it to an A-plus. Those were all A-plus grades. I gave the Buccaneers an A for their draft. This is one of the best drafts. They're really helping Tom Brady out here. And the Bucks. I thought they'd be a really bad team. Or not bad, but I thought they'd be a mediocre team. If, though with this draft, that moved them into like Super Bowl contention for me. I moved up. Yeah, all right, so I think Brady isn't like the best quarterback anymore. I think he's 14th out of the top quarterbacks in the league, which isn't bad, obviously. That's a, above average even. But I thought they'd go 8-8, eight and 7-9, eight, and 9-7, nine, nine and somewhere in that range. But with this draft, 12-4. This is an amazing draft. I can't believe they got this much value. They probably filled all their needs. It's just an amazing draft. But we'll see what they do in the season. We'll see if Tom Brady can play quarterback anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed my second draft grades video. I'll see you guys next time when we go over a different division. I don't know. Probably another NFC division. See y'all next time. Peace out.